Hello, friends. Listen, I've been invited to dinner, and I, I never go empty-handed. So it's kind of a short notice, so I'm going to show you how I make a beautiful 30-minute dinner roll. This is so easy to make, and it's wonderful to take to a potluck or to dinner or to church, anything like that. So right here I got one cup of warm water. I'm also going to put in one third cup of oil. And I'm just using regular vegetable oil. Put that in there. Okay. I'm going to put in one quarter cup of sugar. Okay, and I'm also going to put in two tablespoons of yeast. Just going to give this a little stir. And you can see in there, I got all in there. Give it a little stir to get the sugar around in there. And now I'm going to just let that sit for about 10 minutes to proof. Now you can even let it sit for 15 minutes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right on my, my stand right there. It's going to proof for 10 minutes. When it's proofed, I'll bring you back. Okay, friends. You can see how fluffy and frothy that is. It's been proofing for 10 minutes. So... Now we're going to put on our dough hook. Now you, by all means, can do this by hand. It's not a problem. So with that, we're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. We're going to add an egg that's slightly beaten. I'm going to mix up my egg a little bit. And then we're going to add a teaspoon, or excuse me, a tablespoon of soft butter to this. And that's nice and soft. Let me set that there. And now we're just going to start mixing this up. Now we're going to slowly add three to four cups of flour. We'll see how it, how it goes. So there goes our one cup of flour. Turn it down, otherwise you'll have flour all over the kitchen. There goes our second cup. There's our third cup. Let me get it off here. Scrape our sides down. You can do that while it's moving slowly. Okay, now we're going to turn it up just a little bit. Okay, you can see how that dough is doing there, how it's sticky. I'm going to need more dough or more flour. So we're going to put about another half cup at a time. Maybe a little less than that. Because it's not going to take a whole lot. Now if you're kneading this by hand, you're going to be adding that last cup as you knead it. And if you knead this by hand, you're going to have to knead it for about a good 10 minutes. Whereas with the 
<clears throat> mixer, you're only going to have about five minutes of kneading. Okay, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit because it's looking pretty good. It looks like that's all I'm going to need. Maybe, maybe not. You want it to pull it all away from the sides and gather all on your dough hook. And it is going to need a little bit more. So, so far I'm at another three-quarter cup. Okay, friends, you can see there how it's pulling it away from the sides. Now, I'm just going to let that go, just like that, for five minutes. And when that's all done kneading, I'll be back. Okay, friends, this is done. It has um, or kneaded for about five minutes. The dough's going to be just a little sticky, and that's okay. I'm going to put that dough hook in there. Now we're going to take all this out. I got a little bit on the bottom because it's still a little bit sticky, and that's what you want. Okay. See that beautiful dough? Let me put this up. Absolutely beautiful dough. Okay, we're, we're going to set this aside. I'm not going to set my dough on the counter because you don't have to let this rise right now. I'm just going to pinch some off here. And I've got my little tins here that I always use for my rolls. Put the camera down. And I'm just going to form these into little balls, just like so. My tins are all um, greased. I got them sprayed down. those into nice balls this should make anywhere from 16 to 18 of them depending on what sizes you want I make mine just a little larger so mine will probably make 16 And that's how easy that is to do. Just like that. I'll get the other one done and I'll be back. Okay, these are all rolled into balls. So now all I'm going to do is just cover these up and these are just going to rise for 10 minutes. And then I'll be back. Okay, friends. It's been 10 minutes, and they're looking nice. So this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to do, I've got two tablespoons of water in this little dish. And I'm going to drop an egg in there. Carefully whisk this together so I don't make a mess. Let me do this over my sink. I don't want it sloppy. Okay, now I'm going to take my little brush here and I'm just going to carefully, just carefully brush the tops of these with the egg and water mixture. Now you can even use a little bit of milk if you choose. But I think the egg wash gives them a really nice shiny top. So that's what I'm doing. I got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. These are going to go in a 400 degree oven and they are going to bake for 10 minutes. Now that, that might vary depending on your oven, but mine only, is only going to take about 10 minutes. So that's all you do. We're going to get them in the oven here and when they're baked and all done, I'll bring it back and show you just how lovely these turn out. Okay, friends, these are all done. And it turned out beautiful. Well, 
Okay, absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So now all I'm going to do is I got a little bit of butter here. It's just soft. And I'm just going to brush the tops of these with a little butter. And it'll melt as I brush them. Beautiful, aren't those gorgeous? It's that easy, and you can just take it with you, you know, to like I'm going to do, take it to my friends for our dinner. And it's a lovely addition. You're not going empty-handed, and it's so easy and inexpensive to put together. So, there you have it, friends. I would break into these. These are going to be very soft, very soft rolls. And I would, you know, I would split one open for you, but... I can't do that because I'm taking them for a dinner. But trust me, if you give it a try, you will love these. And these will probably become your new dinner roll go-to. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.